Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Disney Doc McStuffins, A Good Case of the Hiccups, adapted by Sheila Sweeney Higginson, based on the episode written by Corey Powell for the series created by Chris Nee. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. Doc McStuffins and her best friend Emmy were playing in Doc's bedroom. Thanks to Emmy's karaoke microphone toy, the superstar Tastic sisters were ready to put on their best performance ever. Stuffy and Lammy watched, stuffed from Doc's bed. Millie the microphone amplified every note the girls sang. Sing it, sing it, sing it. Millie sang, echoing the girls. Emmy looked down at her toy. There's something weird about the music, she said. Doc pushed Millie's rewind button so they could start the song over. Emmy introduced her friend. Put your hands or paws and claws together for the fabulous Doc McStuffins. Doc pressed the play button and listened. No, 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 Millie said. Emmy was confused. I sing with my Millie mic every day, and this has never happened before. Doc wasn't worried, though. The superstar Tastic Sisters are just going to have to find a way for the show to go on, she told Emmy. I'll just slip out of my rock star shoes and get back to what I do best. Being a doctor to stuffed animals and toys, Emmy and Doc said together. Just then, Doc's mom knocked on the door. It was time for Emmy to leave for her piano lesson, but she promised to come right back. It was perfect timing. Doc could give Millie a checkup while Emmy was gone. The superstar Tastic Sisters will sing again, Doc said confidently, just as soon as I figure out what's wrong with Millie. Doc put Millie on her bed and opened her doctor's bag. Then she put on her stethoscope and brought all the toys to life. Lammy was so excited to see Millie sitting next to her. Oh, a microphone, she exclaimed. I always wanted to be a singer. Millie smiled. She can make Lammy's dream come true. Well, little lady, give it a try. Try, try, Millie said. Huh, that's weird, weird, weird. Doc nodded. Something was definitely wrong with Millie the microphone. Millie, your microphone is working, but something else in you is broken, Doc said gently. You kept repeating when Emmy and I were singing with you. Millie was shocked. Oh dear, 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 she cried. And I broke, broke, broke during a performance? That's bad, bad, bad. Doc, can you help me? Help me? Help me? Of course Doc McStuffins could help a broken toy. She was the best toy doctor in the whole wide world. Doc took her new patient to the clinic and brought her into the checkup room. Then she asked Millie to say ah, which Millie did three times. I have a diagnosis, Doc announced. She has a case of repeatitis. It's kind of what I sound like when I have the hiccups. They sound like this, hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. Doc's dad had taught her all kinds of ways to try to stop the hiccups. One way was to have someone scare you. Stuffy wanted to try to frighten Millie's repeatitis away. So he snuck up behind her and let out a loud roar. Stuffy's roar scared Chili, but not Millie. That was loud, 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 Millie repeated matter-of-factly. Doc knew it was time to try something else. When Dad has the hiccups, he says pineapple as fast as he can, as many times as he can, while he hops in a circle. 
she said. The toys all wanted to try it, so everyone jumped around the clinic chanting pineapple, 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 but that didn't work either. Even a tickle fight didn't cure Millie's repeatitis. Millie was really upset. Emmy would be back soon for the Superstar Tastic Sisters performance, and I won't be ready. Be ready, be ready, she repeated sadly. Doc wondered if she had missed something. Hallie, can you hand me my magnifying glass, she asked. Stuffy was eager to help too. I'll get it, he shouted. But when Stuffy went to get the magnifying glass, he tripped over Millie and accidentally hit her eject button. That's when Doc noticed something. Stuffy, you've done it, Doc cried. I didn't know that Millie had a CD inside of her. Doc carefully removed the CD and used her magnifying glass to examine it closely. Lammy turned to Millie. I know that look, Lammy said. She's got it. Doc smiled. I do. The problem must be with Millie's CD. It didn't take long for Doc to figure out why Millie had repeatitis. Because her CD is dirty, Doc announced. Doc used a cloth to gently wipe the smudges away. Then she walked over to Millie and put the CD back in place. There you go, clean as can be. I really hope this works, Millie said. I just want to get back to my music. When Doc noticed that Millie was able to speak without any repeats, she knew she had found the right treatment. I think it worked already, Doc said with a smile. Thanks for helping me get rid of my repeatitis, Millie exclaimed. But just as Doc was about to sing a solo, the toys had to go stuffed. Emmy was back. Your mom's ready to see the Superstartastic Sisters' big number, Emmy said, walking into the clinic. Are we ready? Emmy asked Doc. They sure were. Doc's tips about hiccups. Hiccups can come out of nowhere, but they usually go away on their own. Here are some things you can try to help make your hiccups go away. Number one, suck on a lemon slice. Number two, sip very cold water slowly. Number three, get tickled. Even if it doesn't stop your hiccups, you'll laugh a lot. The end. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed listening to this book, and I hope you were able to read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye!